Okay. Alright, we're good. Well... I'm gonna play it smart and not going to battle him immediately. Instead, I'll probably go into the gym area that uh, that NPC before in the dorm rooms told me that he went training in, so... I might as well grind, given the fact that... You know... Pelt only has takedown. Not really ideal for... Well, long battles ahead. So, yeah, I need to train him up. I mean, it's gonna be a while before he evolves into a... Matang, so... I'm just gonna make sure he's high enough level to endure... A, a decently lengthy battle. I saw a big guy with a girly backpack walking down towards the girls' dorm. I guess you could see strange things like that. Sometimes. I wonder if he was taking it to his girlfriend or something. Hmm. Okay, sounds like I should remember that. Which I will, hopefully. Oh. Huh. Alright, well we can start. Our training begins. Haha, clear body. Too badly damaged, aren't I? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. See those gates over there? Those are gates everyone longs to cross. The sooner we can cross those gates, the sooner we become real Pokemon trainers. I see. Oh, okay. Doesn't let me read that sign. Kids around here are very cautious around us, so I'd be surprised if they had some secrets they don't want us to know. You wouldn't have to know anything like that, would you? Perhaps. Oh yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I talked to you already. Yep. People battling in the arena are really strong. I don't think I've seen you want a battle. Oh, there we go. First train of battle. Against your usual Pokemon. Your usual common Pokemon to beat up in the early stage. Not surprised. Maybe. Boys don't mature. Uh. Else? No. Alright. Uh. Yeah, I'll talk to you. There are lots of bullies in this school. I just. I don't understand why people can't just get along. Well, that's just life. Not everything's all sunshine and rainbows. I have... are you a trainer? I would so, would you be interested if I... in buying some of the berries? I'll give you three for five hundred. What do you say? Uh, no thank you. Are you sure? I think they'll be very useful in, to you in the future. Mmm... Not a... I'm good. 
The bacteria poking out. Yep. Trash for night. What's this? Hey, dude. No one's allowed here except those participating in the tournament. Alright. Oh. There's loot. Pokeball. Neat. Hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center. We restore your Pokemon to full health. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Yes! Thank you for waiting. Restore your Pokemon to full health. Hope to see you again. Snore. Do you know about that hap tournament that happens across the way? No. All the strongest trainers in school can compete there. Well. Still got a ways to go until I'm there. Or perhaps sooner than I realize. But anyway. Back to training. What's this place? In memory of James Albany. Abalone, sorry. Founder of Nihago Academy. Huh. No, okay. Look, I found a cute Pokemon. Last Mickey. Not good against a steel type, buddy. <clears throat> that wasn't very nice. Well, well, learn to train your Pokemon more than instead of just staring at their appearance just for. Aesthetics. I learned everything about bounding in class. Now it's time. Term. Okay, that's. Uh, that's. I missed a typo right there. Time to try it out for real. School kid Lucy. Go toot. Go build him. him down. Aha, clear body. <clears throat> Alright. Friend. Yeah. The goodness you find in the wild can only use harden. What if it had been trained up for a widow by a good trainer, it can use it and attack as well. Yep. And I've been wondering who is the student council president. I hear her mentioned all the time, but no one ever says her name. I sense some underworld stuff going on here. Hello, trainer. I can nearly bug him with their tie. Oh. It's kind of a waste of a trip. To go all the way to the infirmary, but I suppose if I hadn't gone there, I would have picked up that Pokeball. Well, that makes it easier then, so I wouldn't have to run all the way to the infirmary. If you ever want to be the champion of region, your first Pokemon has to be cool like that one. People like you and me will never be champions. We can still strive to be your gym, to be gym leaders or race trainers, though. They're pretty famous. Well, we'll see about that. Is it true that your Pokemon can only get get so strong here at this school? That's what I've heard. That no matter how much you train after a certain point, your Pokemon will not get any stronger. Also, they are here. It's probably just a myth, though. I smell level capping. Oh my, what a riveting display. Good job, Beach Yoda. Give it up. Jim Jar, use for swipes. Swipes. 
They both look really strong. They'll probably graduate soon. I already talked to you. You can catch dealing in the forest behind the school. Not that it really matters since they don't let us outside the walls. Huh. I saw a sentry on the wall the other day. I wonder if that's the same one. Hmm. I want to produce so bad, Roselia is my favorite Pokemon. I'm keeping a close eye on the trainers here. If anyone shows that they're not capable of handling their Pokemon safely for all participants involved, that. Okay, that. That's spelled with an in. For some reason, I can have an advisor talk to them. It's awful hard for a young trainer to realize why they are pushing their Pokemon too hard. If you lose, often sometimes it is best to give a break and walk around. Maybe give your Pokemon a treat if you can. That being said, I'm also watching to see if there's any particularly exceptional trainers out there. If I get, if any catch my eye, I might offer them a chance to take up the final test to graduate. Work hard, young trainer. Countless opportunities await you. Mm, I shall. Hi, I'm a part of the Nature Club. Ooh, sounds like a club Ravon would like to join, am I right? <laughs> and are you in the... And you are in the water corner. Have you come to battle me? Well, that's what I'm here for. That's what I'm here for. Here to train up my building. Take down. Take him down. Take him down, buddy. Oh boy. Good thing I'm a, I'm a steel type. And also a psychic, but yeah. Are you sure? Well, uh, actually, no, it's just because of my starter. <laughs> you have to come back later, okay? I'll ask my seater to battle you. Huh, neat. Wait, how's my health? It's okay. I'll take the other corner then. You just entered the sand corner. The nature club will take you down. Is there any way Ron can join the nature club? Because nature is certainly his forte. Nemo. Oh, I'm at a disadvantage. Does Nemo run Ember level 1? I don't know. Oh wow. I'm guessing that's a no. Ah, oh, dang. They all seem to use nature power. Because the Finneon has nature power and then this Noobal has nature power. So my guess is they'll probably get me a, a TM for nature power. <laughs> Thanks, my Beldum's really good at taking people down. <laughs> I just started battling not long ago, come back again later, and there will be someone who can show you the Nature Club's real power. And that I shall wait. But until then, I shall defeat those of the lower bracket in order to transcend to greater levels. At least since if I hit the level cap, who knows? <laughs> I'm here for the nature club, but does this look fresh?
Hello, I am back. Don't know what happened to the half of the footage, because apparently my microphone cut out. I'm not sure what happened there, but anyway, after all the grinding, managed to level up my cotton and build them to higher level, and managed to get enough. And we also managed to get enough money to buy this soup, this very rare Pokemon. A Yanma. Really?
Yeah, no, nah, I give up. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what? Uh, not worth it. <laughs> it's probably gonna be something lamer than that. Or something, I don't know. All that for... Bloody Yanma. No thank you. I much prefer... Well, at least it wasn't a complete waste of time. Well, at least I was able to grind up my cottony and build them, so I'm happy. Anyway, let's see what Tara has in for us. Hey, Ravan, sorry for pulling you out here, but there's something that I want to give you that I didn't have with me. Um, so just follow me. Hello, this guy here is with me. Okay, make sure he doesn't stay too long, okay? Yeah, should be pretty quick. Come on, Ravan. <laughs> Oof. First thing, I want to thank you again for getting my bag back. You sent me back there. The reason I brought you here, though, was, well, see, someone gave me a bug on my neck the other day. They told me that they didn't want it, so I decided to take care of it myself, but I feel like you're better suited to hold on to this signal than I am. Would you like to have it? Hmm. What would Vervon think? Well, I guess, yeah, he has... He does possess a sort of selfish survivor archetype of a personality, so might as well. Alright, just wait here for a second. Wonder what Pokemon would be. Okay, here you go. Got a mysterious egg. Surprisingly light and airy. Huh. Not sure what it's supposed to be honest. But I hope it helps you out. By the way, I have a brother named Leighton. Do you know him? I do not know. But okay. Oh, just gonna. Oh. Okay. Leaving. Bye. Well, I got the egg. See if trainers have been updated. No, it hasn't. Okay. Where do I go now? Do I go now? What's this? Hey, you're Vaughn, right? I'm glad you're here. We're just getting around that you beat guy. He's not that great of a Pokemon battler, but I'm still but it's still impressive for a rookie that you to beat him. I've got an offer for you that I think you might be interested in. But in order to hear what I have to say, you have to beat me first. Are you interested? I'm interested. Alright then, hope you're ready. Very well.
As you see here, my moveset has drastically improved since the grinding, as expected. Uh, yeah, I'll switch to Beldum. And I missed. Of course I missed. Still very effective. Take down. There we go. And easy win. Not bad. Guess I should probably introduce myself. My name is James, and I am current the current secretary for the student body council. The president sent me to get in touch with you. I guess she happened to see your skirmish with Yai. Something about it impressed her apparently. Why well, the fact that I beat Dai with a Badoof. <laughs> um, I'd love to talk more here, but what I have to say next is really well. I can't say it out here, just follow me. I'll do that after I heal. Oh wait, oh. wrong area. I guess this is the new guy. Oh, he's with me, so he's fine. If you see him in here from now on, just a heads up. All right. Just to get this here is Gus. He guards this place. Well, there's actually more to it than that, but that's not a board for right now. In any case, come on. Alright. Okay, so this is good enough. So, Ravon, have you ever thought of yourself? It would be nice to get out from time to time. I have thought about that a few times. I mean, not just outside, this campus is like a prison. They don't let anyone in and out without a parent. And the walls are so tall you can even see outside. I mean, heck, for all we know, the world could be ending out there. Everyone's thought about getting out at least every now and then, right? Yes, I would imagine. This entire building it used to be for classes, but it hasn't been used in years. Anything you catch your eye? The stairs over there. They lead to an underground tunnel. If you were to follow, that tunnel, you would end up in another building outside of the campus, an abandoned building right on the edge of the forest. The student council has been letting traders in and out this way without any of the adults knowing for a couple of years now. I see. And I should stress that word about this cannot, absolutely cannot get outside of the student body. You can ask some of the others out there that will on there what will happen to anyone who takes any info. But I'm confident that won't be a problem. And so is the president. She's busy right now, so she couldn't be here. But she wanted me to give you this. Old key. That's a copy of the key used to get into this building. Not only just us council members hold on to the keys, but and people have to ask us to let them in. For whatever reason though, the president want wanted me to give this to you. I wonder what she's thinking. Well, in any case, I'm going out, but I'll be seeing you around, Ravon. Likewise. Hmm. 
Well, Ravana obviously is always gonna keep his word. So it should be a night, don't you think? Hmm. Indeed. You know, I don't think I've seen your face down there before. You want to battle? I mean, but it would be a good idea. My Pokemon will this entire tunnel down. Okay, they're not really that strong, but I mean, ground type, rock type, true dude, I get it. Probably, I don't know. Whatever rock types you got. People drop things in this tunnel all the time. Be careful, make sure you don't lose anything. Noted. Yo, I run the student mark. Hmm. <sighs> I really regret spending all that money on that quote unquote rare Pokemon, but eh. Anywho, I plan to become a nurse when I leave, you. leave here. I'll leave a Pokemon if you can beat me in a battle. I mean, if I hear the theme for every one person who asked me, I would have no time for myself. Oh, you want a battle, huh? Fair, fair warning, I better than most of the guys outside. I'm not afraid. Hmm. Bit of a fast one, huh? Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Look, I think I got my link seat off. Fairy wind. Oh no. Oh, you're going for that build, huh? Ah, <laughs> oh, man, this is gonna get annoying real fast. Oh no. Oh no. Please. Thank you. Oh my god, that shot me way up. <laughs> that peeny. Uh, I'll stay in for now. Just, just, I imagine you're gonna have high physical defense, so... Using Beldum would take forever. Yeah, well, you did that to a special attacker. Yeah, Charm is gonna do well against a special attacker. Nope, still not gonna work. I'm a special attacker. So that ain't gonna do anything. Ah, uh, that's not gonna work on me. Oh. And I win. Sorry, I think I messed up. Your Pokemon might not be happy with you anymore. Wait, what? Heh, <laughs> just kidding. Sorry if I scared you. That is not something you should joke about, my friend. I wish it's 
which so I can spread the leveling easily. Well, evenly. Not easily, evenly. Pokemon I just got. A widow. Very interesting. Yeah, nice try. That ain't gonna work. isn't ah, oh. eh, I already got a grass type nope oh there we go wow this place is so big that's what she said Effective, buddy. Puchiana. I'll switch. Because I do not want it to bite me. At least not my belt. And I just hit it with a fairy wonder to help get it over with. Boom. Dead. Yeah. It really is. Meanwhile, I just need to get the training nurse. <laughs> Someday. I think you beat you. We'll see. Beldum's basically Deku from my hero academia. Constantly using all for not all for one, one for all at 100% and constantly breaking his bones and tearing all of his muscles on his arms and stuff. Really sucks. But yeah, he's just to keep it up until he evolves. Until my, well, until my Beldum evolves. Catching a Pokemon is really hard. Don't you hate it when they break when it breaks out of your Pokeball? Indeed, I know the feeling. Well, Ravon doesn't technically know the feeling yet because he's used to capture one for himself. <laughs> eh.
Nah. Not spin around. Not not what I want. If you drop you, you'll have you'll get to dodge. What you have to be first to get past through. Very well. Try to have at the Alright, tight disadvantage. Critical hit. Not that it matters anyway. Happened. Sorry about that. Something weird happened. And of course I missed. Great. Of course he missed. Great. Got him. Uh, I can run all the way back. Besides, the more I run, the more, the faster I can hatch the Zack that I got. Whatever Pokemon it may be in there. So beautiful, I feel inspired. Nature truly is a masterpiece to look at. And Ravon is obviously one to agree. He's a man of nature himself. Don't let it, don't let it fool you to think you could stay out there forever. Remember you have to eat and make sure all your basic needs are fulfilled. Hmm. Expect me to come out from there, did you? Oh, 
Well done. Spin around. Hmm. Not really something that would pose that much of a challenge against me. Oh. Okay, that's not really gonna make much of a difference. Again. Ouch. go get potions, uh, so I wouldn't have to constantly run back. Yikes. That's not much. but eh, I ain't gonna use the armor. Oh, it's the cut tree. Well, I won't be able to get it. So there's enough. It's not enough to jump on. Because I couldn't climb it up, though. I mean, I'm not about to bear him. It's myself trying. Huh. There you go. Only experienced trainers are allowed that this way. The Pokemon up there are way too strong for you. I'm not about to babysit some kid who wants to play adventure. Huh. Very well. Is there anything else? Hmm, doesn't seem to be much. Don't go safely. There doesn't seem to be much. Kind of disappointed here. But I guess the Pokemon are uh, further ahead of that path code for the two were, are probably more worth than the ones around here.
Actually, how close is this? How close is this egg to hatching? Not even close. Well, back we go. Yo, got a bad feeling like something's gonna happen. Hmm, isn't that ominous? Oh. Ah, there you are, Ravon. There's something that I'll find you around here. I guess someone left a note for you in your room, seems that like such a roundabout is a way of communicating if you ask me. Maybe you have a secret admirer? Do I? Uh -huh. With that aside, I heard you have something to show me. How did you get into that building? Every one of you, back between those two buildings. We are taking you hostage. Resistance will not be tolerated. What was that? I'm gonna go check it out. Hey, don't rush off on your own. <laughs> Damn it. What is this? Ravon, over here. What? Attention all students and faculty. We are Team Tectonic. These students will be under our care for a little while. As long as you don't try anything funny, they will remain unharmed. We have a reason to believe that there is a treasury in the school, one with a considerable amount of gold. Now, is there anyone here who can tell me something about that? Is there? Mm -hmm. No. Of course, I didn't think there would be. Actually, we came prepared, we'll find it ourselves. Hey, you students, get inside your dorm rooms now. It's dangerous. Oh, good. You look a bit more important. Why don't you help us out? Inside, now. Ravon, over here, this way. I can't believe T Team Tectonic is here at school. They look re like the real deal. This is scary. And where are all the teachers at? Yeah, seriously. There are hardly any around. They went on some luncheon. And they've already been contacted though. And I guarantee you that the local gym leaders will know about this soon. Maybe even the lead four. This will definitely be new big news. Team Tectonic better not try anything or I don't know what I'll do. And that's what I'm saying. There's no way we can just sit there and wait for help. We have to do something. You agree with me, right, Ravon? Hmm. What would Ravon think in this situation? Would you agree with Danny or not? Okay, well, given that Ravon is a person who tends to look out for himself, he tends to put himself first. Because he wants to survive. Because of his Darwinistic perspective of her life itself, survival of the fittest. And I believe Ravon would see this as, well, a naive way to tackle the situation by running headfirst into a situation that you may end up getting killed or worse. So, he would say no. I kind of agree. I mean, you have to realize this is a hostage situation. We might just make things worse if we try to do anything. But, hold on, I have a plan. There should be minimal risk, and we can back out whenever we like. But you have to follow my instructions. What do you have in mind? Just listen carefully. We split up James and Ravon, was it? Go around the campus and beat any of the tectonic thugs you find. Tracy and I will be right behind you to disable them once they're 
beat. We'll also help you get out of there if you're the one getting beat. Danny, and you? Sorry, I don't know your name. Keep an eye on the hostages. Make sure they don't, you don't get seen and let us know if anything goes wrong. We'll pluck them off one by one. Whatever happens, after that happens. I'm right behind you. Huh? What do you want, kid? I'll be taking I'll be taking you down now. Take him down. Oh no. Uh oh, that wasn't even that effective. But I got flinched. That's not good. Take oh man. Of course you miss. This is annoying. Okay, there we go, finally. Well then. Oh no. Have an apon. <laughs> Man, Boston's gonna be happy with me. Hmm. Well, this is going to be tough. No doubt. Join some kid. I'll take you so you can join the others. I don't think so. Build them. Boom. Clear body. Countering your intimidation. Also, I think it'll be easier if I just use cottony for this battle. Fairy wind. Dead. Spear. I'll switch out. Beldum can take it. Fight. Take down. Hit, huh? Take him down. What are you a fan of something when I'm recruiting runs like you? I'm not here to join. Take him 
down. Great. Sonic Boom. Whoa. Well, oh, good thing I'm faster. Taking you down. Here, guess what? I'll put you back in your place. Same goes for you, grunt. Bad taunt needs a special attacker. Unfortunate for you, Grunt. Wizner. Belden, take him on. Decide the XP, because otherwise Belden will not be able to evolve. Because you haven't trained them enough, idiot. I see your friend Bowman down there. Do you intend on standing up against us too? That is correct. Take down. Oh, this is annoying. Oh my god. Oh no. Why would you do that? Uh... Oh no. Great. That's annoying. That is really annoying.
<laughs> Same goes to you. to the action. Ah. Is there anyone else to deal with? Alright, all targets are eliminated. Preparing to engage the main force. What the hell do you think you're up to, kid? What? You want to fight me? Oh shoot. Well, I'm here to crush any hope you have. Take him down. Take him down. For the good hit, not on the manners. A bomb. Stay in. Take him down. Take him down. Spiro. That is not good. Okay, I'm surprised it didn't go for a pack. And Fairy Wind. Hm. Give up. I'll teach you what it means to go against Team Tectonic. You two, give me your Pokemon. Here, come on. You can help me out, too. That's a shame, this kid. No way you can beat all of us. Your Pokemon goes good as gone. And I have to think about what I want to do with you. He doesn't have to take all of you on alone. We'll beat this lot. You do what you have to do, Ravon. These guys aren't even that strong, you so you don't have to worry about us at all. I know you can do it, Ravon. <laughs> Alright, you guys take care of them. This is one just going down easy. His Pokemon are already weak. Damn. All of them sound in a good shape. Unfortunately, I got potions. I came prepared. Unlike you. And I... <sighs> it's gonna be a while till... I get it out of that predicament after he evolves. Whenever that will be. Take 
take him down. Oh. That was weird. Anyway. Sand Isle. Yes. Cotney. Take him down. Fairy Wind style. Got him. Spiro. Hmm. Got a plan for this one. Beach seed. Got him. And I'll use this to heal Beldum. Take down. Voltorf. Gotta have to switch off that one. And I'll be taking all your health, thank you very much. Hmm. Weak. You guys, the hostages! Can't defeat all our Pokemon. Then call the people back. We sent out back. None of them are responding. My Butterfree put them all to sleep. <laughs> this is just shameful. What do you think you're doing? Losing to a bunch of kids like this. I'm... Not to mention, you can't even protect these hostages anymore. Why did you even take them if you aren't even going to use them? Wait. I mean, you do understand the concept of taking a hostage, right? You threatened them so you don't have to get into altercations like this one. Yes, I'm sir. Uh, I apologize for my ineptitude. Well, no matter. I've been looking for an excuse to let out some tension. I think I'll go wild for a bit here. Thank you, sir. As for you kids, your charge is commendable. It's just bad luck for you that I decided to tag along this time. Around. Oh, what? We'll just tear down this school if I happen to come across any treasure along the way. Great. You, Ravon, if I heard right. You look like you want to fight. Hmm. Don't you dare touch those kids. Oh. Go Blastoise, use Hydro Cannon. Magmar, Flamethrower. Yeah, <laughs> your Pokemon are near, aren't anywhere near my Agronta level. You can't stop me. I think you, I can hold you off, at least until we can get someone from the Elite Four over here. <laughs> I doubt that. But fortunately for you, I'm not one to take unnecessary risks. Farewell. I'm sure that we will meet again. 
like crumb they just leave us here like this uh, so I'm so inconsiderate don't worry guys I've got you covered what what is this damn it show yourself criminal scum eh I don't think so perhaps next time now hmm is that it I can't believe that just happened Damn kids, why are you all out here? Get into your dorms now. You can come out when the when us adults are sure that the danger has passed. Thanks again for this interview, you guys. This should end up on the TV, so keep an eye out for it. Stay safe. Hmm. Okay, so that's over with. And I really, I wish I had my Pokemon with me. I would have smashed those guys. What happened to your Pokemon? Mr. Ramstrong took it. I was caught battling when I didn't have my permit. Uh, you know, I think I can help you out, mate. Come with me. I'll talk with some people. We'll get it back right now. Can you do that? I think so. And if not, I'll have someone else to show you which should help you out anyway. First though, Ravon, the president says you should check your, check your room when you have the time. I think she wants to play a game or something. I don't know. I usually blow her off when she gets like this. But it's up to you. Alright, let's go, Cyrus. See you, Ravon. Okay, well, for now. <laughs>